Hey dolls, welcome back to your girl's channel. This look is one of my vlogmas looks for you dolls. I hope you're loving the looks that I've been giving you so far. If you want to see how this look was done, then carry on watching. When you're done watching, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you dolls in my next video. I am going to do a gorgeous, smoky, um, it's going to be black, but I might add a bit of midnight blue in there as well. So it's not going to be the typical smoky black eye. So we'll jazz it up and elevate it a little bit. But yes, dolls, let's get started with this look. I cannot wait. How's everyone's Christmas shopping coming along? I hope you dolls have done what you need to do. I'm sure most of you guys are ordering from online because who has time to be queuing up to get into a shop and all of that madness? You might as well just get all your bits online so it's out of the way okay, so we are going to start off with the base so i'm going to prime my face with the makeup academy primer oil and i'm going to also prime my face with the angel Vell primer i'm going to add my color corrector and i'm using two items to color correct with one is the orange color corrector from LA Girl Pro Concealer and the other one is the LA Pro Concealer in color Tawny. So I mix both of those and that gives me a nice peachy tone that is perfect to color correct with, with my skin color. I think if just in general, if you want to like tone down the orange because sometimes it's a bit much, if, you, if it's still showing through under your makeup, then just tone it down with a little bit of your concealer and it will work a treat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color correct. I've color corrected. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add all my face products. I'm going to add my foundation, my concealer, my contour, and get that all on. What I will do first is I'm going to go in with my NC42 concealer and I'm going to just add that on under my eyes because I have like deep lines under my eyes and I like to try and conceal that as best as possible. A lot of the times they still turn up in the end, yeah, but I am trying to conceal it as much as possible and I do think that this um, concealer does that for me. It's a cream based concealer, it's from MAC, it's, like, the shade is NC42 but it's really similar to my skin colour. So I like to use that first before I add the rest of my stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my um, infallible concealer in colour Cashmere and this is from L'Oreal. I'm going to go into my HD concealer in colour Coco and this is from NYX. Also apply my foundation in the areas that are left. So I have my concealer brush, I have my foundation brush, and I have my contour brush. All three brushes are from Real Technique. The contour brush that I use is the 200. Um, the foundation brush is the 204, and the concealer brush is the 206. So that's what I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer first. I'm going to go in with my contour brush now. And I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and just basically like tie everything together. Okay. 
I'm gonna get my damp beauty blend on. I'm just gonna earth that in. Just gonna push the products into my skin. And I'm gonna go with my NYX HD Concealer and this color is in beige. And it's just the last little set and set that I add. I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me powder. Okay, we're gonna deal with these brows. Oh, crop. okay, so my brows are done. I am going to get my P. Louise base in Rima 03. Okay, doll, so I've got this array of colors at the moment. This is what I'm going to use to start my smoky eye. I am going to add another shade because I told you I want to add like a midnighty blue. These two colors I'm going to mix together as my transition color. And the lid's going to be black because it's going to be a smoky eye with the midnight blue. Shades that I just showed you is from the Revolution Monster Matte Palette. I've been going back to it <laughs> a lot lately. But I think it's because it has so much different colors in it that you can use in different shades. So I've mixed the two browns that I have at Ice Scrape. And I'm going to add that as my transition color. brush that has no product on it because I just want to really blend that out. So what I'm going to do is build. I'm going to build this smoky eye. So I'm going to start off with my gel pencil. This is from Sleek. It's not the neatest. get my Makeup Revolution London Glitter Glitter. I got a bunch of glitters from a company called Pop Feel, but I bought it through Amazon. Face and Body Glitter Kit, but there's loads in there. I think there's 10, 12, there's 12. And this one is the Glitter Face and Body. It just says EM10, but it's like a really dark blue. Okay, doll, so I'm going to do my under eye, add my lashes, and then just finish off the face. 
So obviously, when I started this look, I said I was doing a smoky eye, a black smoky eye with a little bit of midnight blue, but that look just basically went out the window. I just changed my mind halfway through. Hence why my face is done and I'm using glitter. I never do that. I always, if I'm gonna be using glitter, I always do my face last because there's just so much fallout. It's ridiculous. But that's basically what happened to me because I changed my mind of how I wanted my look to be. I didn't just want a smoky eye anymore. I wanted a smoky eye with the midnight blue glitter. That is where we are at dolls. I'm probably gonna just go in with a brown under eye and a nude liner. put my lashes on and i'll be back okay doll so i finally got my lashes on that was just such a task because i got glitter on my lids it's not happening with my eyelash glues i had to actually use my magnetic eyelash glue to like save this look or i would have to just do individual lashes or something because my strip lashes was just not having it on top of this glitter note to self if you're going to be using chunky glitters try to avoid the area where you lay your lashes or you need to have magnetic lashes because it just was not it was just not happening but it's strange because i don't remember having this issue before when i've used glitter and not being able to put my lashes on so i don't know okay so what we're gonna do now is i'm just gonna finish off the face and i still have loads of fallout but hopefully my loose powder hides it or oh, it's just gonna have to stay like this <laughs> i'm not actually going out so it's fine I'm gonna get my hula bronzer and some definition to this face of mine. I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna go in a velvet teddy first. And then I'm gonna go in with Mick. It's a really light, light nude from MAC. This is another one of my Vlogmas videos, dolls. Yes, I'm keeping up and I'm giving you look day after day on your lead up to Christmas. You guys can try these looks out on Christmas Day. Like, pick one that's your favourite out of the bunch and do it on Christmas Day. I've ended up with a midnight blue glitter cut crease look for you dolls. Let me know what you think below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will catch you tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. Bye!